Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Kid. How is everybody doing today guys? Jumping back in here, this is Future Kid. There are now timestamps down in the description. That way if you need to, you can just skip around instead of having to watch the whole video. Alright guys, now let's get back to the video. So, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. In the last episode, we made this awesome, beautiful medieval castle in Minecraft. And on that note, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you for the support and all the love that you guys have been showing last episode. It seems that you guys really did love this castle. So today I'm here to announce that we are going to expand this castle. Uh, we're probably going to go back down over this way. Whoops, whoops. Okay. And we're going to expand this bad boy to about right up around here, maybe. Um, I haven't put in the outline yet, so that means we're probably not going to build it this episode. But yes, guys. We are going to expand this castle. So guys, with that being said, um, yeah guys, so th there are some plans today. The first thing I wanna tell you is that we are going to be making, finally, after all this time, this thing. This is going to be a church. I got some inspiration off Google Images and the uh, picture for it should be up on screen right now if you're interested in looking at it. Uh, I will also try to find the link to it and you know, maybe you can go on Google and also get it for you yourself to maybe build. But um, yeah guys, so this right here is gonna be a tower bit right here. Uh, this is gonna be like, you know, one of the main churches here. And this is gonna be a, a another church, a smaller one, but it's probably gonna be used more for like the, you know, the beds or where, or like the office or something like that. Um, so yeah guys, this is gonna be pretty cool. The only thing I'm a little stumped on so far is the fact that this is gonna be all stone, or at least that's the idea because of the time in which or era in which this kind of castle design was built it was you know medieval but if you think about what we've done so far in this uh base of ours right we have a lot of uh, wood tones here we have lots of oak lots of spruce and dark oak and stuff like that so uh, you know just looking around i'm wondering if this is exactly going to blend in or not not 100 percent sure um but i guess we'll go for it and you know if we don't like it we can always change it uh but to that end guys i also like to let you know that there are going to be time codes down in the description from now on so that way if you want to perhaps just skip around rather than you know watching the whole video you can do that so yeah guys time codes in the description also i'll be providing a master list of sorts of all the members here on lucid smp so that way you can go check out their content guys i would extremely i would strongly advise that you do that and also the reddit and the twitter will be included with that so yeah guys uh you know go check those things out you know join us in have some fun right <laughs> and um yeah oh yeah one last thing one last thing this cape look at this cape i finally got my optifine cape look at it it's looking cool Woo! look at that it's fresh the freshest cape on the market <laughs> okay right so let's go ahead and get ourselves some materials which we already have them right here um i'm thinking maybe for right now we'll just use some stone brick and kind of lift this thing up as much as we can. I think I have the stone cutter with me, no? Oh, okay, we have some more stone brick here, good. All right, guys, so we're just gonna lift some of this up and then I'm gonna go ahead and get, and get into a time lapse and we'll just build the rest from there. <laughs> Right now, let's go ahead and get started doing this. So let's lift this one up here. This is gonna be the tower, so it needs to be about around the same level as the main structure, but a bit higher. So uh, I, I do wanna to keep to this kind of scale that we have going in, in this uh, town of ours so far. So I don't wanna make this thing too extremely big. So with that, let's lift this corner right here. Let's go up to a total of, let's see, for seven for right now. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven and yep we're just going to do that on all four sides and all right that's looking pretty cool now uh we can do the cross beams shortly but for right now let's just keep getting the rest of the uh you know the other structures in i'm thinking hmm if that's a seven that's actually going to be bigger in fact we might take that up to 10 probably so let's lift this up to let's say six okay yeah so we definitely gonna have to lift this up this one up a bit more so that's six, that means this is seven. Um, 
right? Am I wrong? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm right. This is definitely seven. All right. That's why. So let's go up at least eight, nine, ten. And now we can perform some cross beams here just to kind of connect them up like so. And yeah, now we're just going to go ahead and do that all, on all the rest of the sides, guys. All right, guys. So we lifted up the tower right there. Uh, all the way up to its 10 and now we're just going to kind of fill in this outline that we already have for the main structure but for right now let's also go ahead and start lifting up this structure right here so hmm maybe about right here so that's already one two three four and five yes all right so there we go we're going to do all of them just like that to a total of five so again right here two three four five all right guys, so now let's go ahead and get the other two in. So now that we lifted those up, I went ahead and did some cross beams on everything and connected it. Um, now the next thing we're gonna do is just basically fill this thing in. For right now, we're just gonna go ahead and use some stone brick and then afterwards, we can go ahead and do the texturing. So yeah guys, let's go ahead and just get this thing filled in. <laughs> all right guys, so once you have lifted up all the blocks, it should look something just like this. Um, and the original concept art that I showed you guys earlier, this structure right here, the one in the middle didn't actually connect to the tower. So for this one, we're just going to call it a modification and just carry on, uh, you know, building it. So for that being said, let's go ahead and grab some scaffolding. And yeah, let's make our way to the top of this build here. So now let's take our spruce stairs, uh, just like so. And let's kind of hang out over here and put a stair there. And we'll put another one right there. There we go. Then we can do something like this. Uh, I think I'm going to do a pretty much, you know, straightforward uh, roof here like this. And we're just going to take it to that point right there and stop because we obviously can't go any further. Um, so, yep, yeah, let's go ahead and start this part right here as well. Uh, okay, cool. Not bad. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, that is looking so cool. So, uh, let's go ahead and just put in this portion of this roof right here. And then I think, guys, we're going to go ahead and hop into a time lapse and get this thing finished so there it is this is going to you know this is going to be the way the the build looks mostly uh we're still gonna have to see how this part is going to end up coming out but i guess we won't know that until we kind of finish it so with that guys let's go ahead and hop into a time lapse and let's get this church whoops <laughs> let's get this church built and check out this cape by the way isn't that looking cool right pretty cool oh Look at that, rip pants. <laughs> okay guys, let's go.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the time lapse, but check out this church. It is finally done. There it goes. I had a ton of fun building this, and oh my gosh, the detailing and everything, it is so cool. So first we're gonna check out this build in front of us, which is the church, the main thing. And then we're gonna get something that's kind of right here on the side of me, but I'm not gonna tell you what that is. <laughs> so coming in here, uh, we use some spruce on the roof, and I'm thinking that looks pretty cool. We use some slabs in there, we use some full blocks, and that's about it. And yeah, I do kind of like this old rustic kind of look that the church is giving off right now. And of course, with the tower right there, it, hey, it screams rustic even more, I think. Um, so on the tower up there, we actually use, again, spruce. Uh, we use a couple of spruce trap doors, a couple of uh, spruce stairs, a couple of spruce slabs, and a couple of spruce full blocks. So that's all in there. And, you know, to make the structure, uh, the, the, you know, the tower in particular, we use spruce logs at the very top there. So, uh, like right over there. Yeah, so on all four sides, use spruce logs, which is pretty cool. So on this build, we just went kind of with a stone base. We use cobblestone, stone brick, regular stone, and some mossy peppered in there, here or there. We also used a couple of walls. I think we used a couple of cobble walls and a couple of stone brick walls. And check this out. So the profession I'm going to put in here is a cleric. And since that's the case, have you ever noticed that the cleric villagers have like these purple... Uh, costumes on if you will so I decided to go with some purple glass here with some oak trap doors as you know um, uh, what do you call those things you know what I'm talking about for the windows <laughs> uh, and yeah I even use some vines here I use a bit of bushes over there just to kind of break that little piece up right there which is looking pretty cool and yeah guys check out all this I went nuts over here with all the bushes and you know all that stuff that I always use uh, I'm not going to name it but I even use a couple of you know slabs here of mossy and regular slabs of all the variants that we just talked about yeah guys came in here with some fences and some uh, lanterns as well pretty cool i mean check it out all the way around i came and had some fun and this is how it's looking and it's looking so cool um and over here we have ourselves a little flower uh garden of sorts if you will very small one not too big um, we even have some slabs on most of the windows as like a little bit of a detail. Uh, yeah guys, so I really do love the way this thing came out. And with that being said, we have a couple of uh, stairs here. I wanted to put some like trap doors on it, but it's going to ruin the path. So we're just going to have regular stairs. Uh, maybe even some signs would do some justice here, but we'll worry about that later. So um, yep, and on each bit that I could fit it on, I put like a spruce gate right here with some trap doors of spruce as well. And yeah, all the way around we did the same thing and we have some uh, lanterns in certain spots and that's also looking pretty cool. So with that guys, it is turning night so let me make it daytime and we'll get back to this church. Guys, so now that it's daytime, let's go ahead and check the interior out. Okay, so it's not done and I figured I wanted to do the interior with you guys because usually I just build up the structure and I don't do the interior with you so uh, let's go inside. So again, another, another predominantly spruce kind of um, cover up if you will we have spruce on the floor and then we have spruce over there and it looks like I'm missing a couple steps right over there so I'll go up there in a second and do that but we have a couple of plant uh, planters in here which is pretty cool uh, you'll you'll see why they are kind of uncovered in, in like a particular part like right there and right there and over here as well you'll, you'll understand that in a moment but anyhow yeah guys so we have this big space right here I want to come back in here and add a log at the top right there and then maybe put a chandelier in here or, or something for lighting. So that's going to be that. And here, we're going to reserve this spot for the bedroom. Because we know our poor clerics need to sleep. Or, or should we call them um, pastors? <laughs> they need to sleep. So, yep. that's This is going to be their bedroom. Their workstations are going to be located like right over here. And then this room is the tower. I don't know if I want this to go all the way up. Um, I, don't even, I don't know if I'm going to even, you know use this for anything haven't quite figured that out but for right now let's get started out here so for right now let's grab this chest and we have some dark oak stairs so let's use that first right and the reason i want to use dark oak stairs is because i want to do this now we can actually go three but as you can see right here if i want to put a detail like on the side of the of the stairs i can't because you can't put like two uh signs here or two slabs here for so for so for that reason 
I'm just going to go with two per row. And yeah, that one, then I could detail them up just a little bit more, right? So something like that. Maybe I think we can fit another row right here. And then we can grab this here again. Let's actually just take a couple more things out of here. Just so we keep going back and forth. Um, okay, that's good enough. So what we could do here is put some trap doors like this on, you know, every one of them. And yeah, that'll make them look even that much more better. Just like that. And that is looking cool already, right? Then up over here, I want to take some oak um, slabs and stuff like that and full blocks and stairs. And I want to make a small little stage right here. So let's see. If we can put one there, uh, one there, let's see, one there, there, and hmm, I kind of want to make it just a little bit bigger, I think. So let's go like this. Let's go like that, that, um, that right there, and that right there. And actually, you know what? Let's go right here. Mm -hmm. I think, let's see. Can we put a stair here? No, it's too far in. Okay, that's fine. So you know what? Let's break this one and break this one like so. And then we'll just put a stair right here and a stair right there. And there we go. That's pretty cool, right? Uh, we can also go ahead and take a fence that we have right here. Just put it right there. And then we'll take a lantern and put it right there. Right? That's going to be pretty cool. So now we have some light in this place. Um, the next thing we're going to take... Oh, right. We need to get the workstations. And they can pretty much be found right here. So let's just take the workstations. Sorry, buddy. Don't worry. You'll, 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 you'll move into a better spot right about now. So don't be sad. So let's take the workstations and put one right here and one right there. Look at that. <laughs> That's going pretty cool. I hope we can get another cleric. We only have one and here he is. Here goes our head cleric right here. L look at him. He's happy. Hi. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> oh, I love villagers. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and grab the beds. I think. They're, they should be in this house. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see. <laughs> if, the, if the cleric leaves at night to go to sleep, we'll know why. But for right now, let's just grab these beds that are in there. Close that door for now. And then put them right here. One, two, uh, okay. Two and three. And there we go. Let's move this lantern for right now. And then we can grab the trap doors again. And do something like this. And there we go. We have a bed for three clerics, although we, I think we only have two, or we might only even have one cleric for right now. But uh, even with that being said, that's 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 totally fine. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in here? We have a crafting table, yay, because they need to use the crafting table. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, let's give them a table each, right? And, um, hmm, we can give them both a lantern. I think that'd be cool. Or both sides, a lantern, like that. And then I think we can go ahead and grab uh, some more planters. Let's see, do we have any in here? No, we don't have any in here right now. Okay, so you know what? I'll, I'll do that part off camera. Basically, I'll just put two more of these in that room. And, um, yeah, guys, I think that's about it for this place for right now. Um, yeah, I can also hang a chandelier there, but I'm not sure I want to do that in this room. It's, it's supposed to be pretty straightforward and simple, and I think we accomplished that. I might come back in here with some carpet and um, put some carpet here, too, in the main area. And as far as this area right here, I'm not sure what I want to do here. I was thinking maybe just to put it like a ladder and put it going all the way up on one of these sides. But also, we can go ahead and put like a log of maybe oak in the middle and take it all the way to the very top. Uh, put it like a spiral staircase going up and then maybe cut this part off by putting i don't know maybe some more logs and slabs so that way it looks like that up there and then we can make this into like another room for some reason but for right now i don't really have a purpose for that so if you guys have any ideas please let me know down in the comments uh you know what we can use this room for and uh yeah we'll see what we can do with that but for right now guys i think we have most of what we uh, wanted to do with this build for today and yeah guys so with that let me go show you now the second thing I hope you're ready. So let's go. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't push. Don't be rude. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, you're going to fight me? I'm running. Bye. <laughs> right. So check this out, guys. I made a graveyard. Yep, here it is. 
I, I, yeah, I don't know how to make a graveyard, but I kind of did my best, and this is what I came up with. Uh, it's mainly just a, uh, a cobblestone and stone brick and stone and mossy box frame. I'm not too sure about the dimensions. I don't remember what they were, but on the top, I just did all the different variations of stone, and in the gaps, I kind of did um, these iron bars, and this looks pretty cool. This is my first time attempting a graveyard, so yeah. Um, yep, so we have some of the graveyards that are open coughing, like that one right there. And we have another one like, uh, let's see, right here, yep. And then we have, you know, some of the ones that are more normal, like this one right here, this one right here, and this one right here. And I came in here and detailed and decorated and yeah guys, so now when, uh, you know, one of our friends kind of uh, sunset, if you know what I mean by that, we can uh, bury them in here. So I'm looking forward to that. And this is looking really, really cool, guys. Oh man, I've had so much, far, uh, so much fun so far doing this build right here and also making that thing. So I think they came out looking really, really cool and I'm very proud of them both. If you like this video and you would like to see more, please consider leaving a like. And also, if you're new here, also please consider subscribing. And with that, guys, I will see you in the next Minecraft video here on Lucid SMP. Goodbye.